What's going on guys, Tristan24 here, welcome back to another video on the channel, today we've got predictions for the second leg of the playoff semi-finals, let's get straight into it. So, on screen now will be what the prediction league is looking like for the championship. We've continued it on for the playoffs because there's no real point starting a new table because uh, you're not going to get too many points at the moment because it's playoffs and there's only two games happening um, twice and then one big final. Of course, at Wembley on the 29th, we'll be doing predictions for that one as well. And hopefully, a watch along. Swans, you're in it. Let's hope so. But the first legs were interesting, of course. We had. Bournemouth take on Brentford, Bournemouth won it 1-0, fans in the stadium for that one for uh, Bournemouth of course and you know proved to be helpful to them in the home leg. In the other leg it didn't prove to be so helpful for Barnsley, they did lose to the mighty team Swansea 1-0, what a goal it was by Andre Ayew um, but the fans you know uh, I watched the Barnsley Swansea game of course in the watch along which is on the channel if you haven't checked it out already make sure you do. Um, if you want to see the reaction to goal or anything like that. But the Barnsley fans, fair play to them. Really good. Four and a half thousand of them. Uh, at the Liberty now, we'll have 3,000 fans. I'm not too sure how many are going to turn up at Brentford for their game. First ever game with fans at their new stadium, of course. Uh, but going into the second leg games, we have got, first of all, Brentford against Bournemouth. Now, this is not going to be easy for both teams. Brentford... Do have to come from behind, of course. They are trailing 1-0 to Bournemouth. But if Bournemouth can continue where they left off in the last game, starting with the insane intensity, go straight at Brentford. Because if you let them come at you, they'll score goals. You know, they've got Ivan Tony, who's had 41 goal contributions this season, which is insane. And he has to be playing Premier League football next season, whether it's with Brentford or at a different team, you know. He has to. He's just at that level. Uh, but one of the bargains of the season for Brentford, I think he was brought in from Peterborough for five million or something like that. So insane for Brentford. For a school prediction, this one, of course, it's Bournemouth who are in the lead going into the second half of the tie. One nil could be absolutely massive. Could mean nothing. It meant nothing to Swansea last season when they played Brentford their final game at Griffin Park. Um, that was and Brentford made it memorable going to the final but in this one I can see it being really cagey nothing much happening until the second half and that's when I think Brentford are going to get a goal make it 1-1 on aggregate and I think Brentford are going to get a second goal make it 2-1 Bournemouth aren't going to let it go easy so they're going to score towards the end of the game make it 2-1 on aggregate uh, no sorry 2-2 two -two on aggregate 2-1 to Brentford and then I think he's going to go all the way to penalties. Penalty shootout to decide it. And the drama for both teams. It's a lunchtime kickoff, of course, on Saturday. Um, but on penalties, I'm going to back... Uh, who am I going to say? <laughs> I had it in my mind who I was going to say to win it. And then I just couldn't speak. But I'm going to back Brentford to win on penalties. 5-4. Meaning Brentford to go to the final to play either Swansea or Barnsley. Let's see what I think for that game. So, Swansea with fans. Swansea with a one goal advantage going into the second half. It's in our favour. The pressure is on because we did slip off. But, you know, Steve Cooper, very classy in his interview, says we'll just play it as another game, really. Um, but the Barnsley boss trying to... Trying to... Uh, what's the word? Not too sure of the words, but he's trying to get a reaction then out of us and try and make us um, more more worried in a way. I'm, I'm not sure of the word because basically you're saying that there's pressure on us, big pressure. There's not really. It's another game. We're in the playoffs, same as everyone. Um, yes, we have the one goal advantage, so a little bit of pressure, but not massive as pressure as he's trying to say. Um, but Barnsley, you know, really good in the first leg, really impressed by them. They won't have their fans this time, which could be massive for Swansea, because we have them now. 3,000 at the Liberty, as I've said like three times in this video now. But 
for a school prediction this game, I think Swansea are going to win it. I was going to say 2-1, but I think Freddie Woodman, he's convinced me he can keep another clean sheet. I'm going to say Swansea going to win it 2-0. Now, you know, saying that makes me nervous because I am really nervous. The first goal is massive. So once you get the first goal, then it's obviously two goalies cushing on aggregate. And it's an absolute mountain to climb for Barnsley. We know they won't give up till the end. So it's going to be massive uh, whoever gets the first goal. Because if they get the first goal, one more than aggregate and game on. Um, so it, it's absolutely massive. But I hope to God, please, please, please send Swansea to the final versus Brentford. Please, please, please. That's what, as a Swansea fan, I really want to happen. Um, there will be a live stream Saturday for the game, so if you're looking for a stream a watch along to watch the game, well, to watch a reaction to the game, please, please uh, join us for that one. It's going to be really intense, uh, but if, if we score and if we win, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Here are my predictions for the second leg semi-finals. I think it's going to be Brentford versus Swansea in the final. Hope so. Really, really hope so. So I think it's going to be 5-4 to Brentford on penalties. 2-0 Swansea um, going into the final. And next season it will be Bournemouth and Barnsley still in the championship to play um, Sheffield United, West Brom, Fulham, Peterborough United, Hull City and... Uh, who are in the playoffs? Oxford, Blackpool, oh, one of Oxford, Blackpool, Lincoln and Sunderland. As I'm doing this video, it is Blackpool with a 3-0 lead in the first leg over Oxford and Lincoln with a 2-0 lead over Sunderland in the first leg. So it looks like both of them are going to Wembley. Never say never. I'll see you in the next video very soon, guys. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It means so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video very soon, which will probably be the watch along on Saturday. Make sure you're there. I'm excited, nervous, cannot wait. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye, guys.